Each year at Academic Festival, we honor a group of distinguished alumni for their achievements and dedication to the public good with the Teachers College Distinguished Alumni Award and TC Early Career Award. I want to ask Rosella Garcia, our Senior Director of Alumni Relations, to come up and help us recognize our distinguished alumni. Monisha Bajaj is this year's Early Career Award recipient. She is an Associate Professor of International and Multicultural Education at the University of San Francisco, where she directs the MA program in Human Rights Education. She has also developed curriculum, particularly related to peace education, human rights, anti-bullying efforts, and sustainability for nonprofit organizations and intergovernmental organizations such as UNICEF and UNESCO. <laughs> Mildred Garcia is president of California State University Fullerton, the third largest university in the state of California. She previously served as president of CSU Dominguez Hills, where she was the first Latina president in the Cal State system. She also served as the CEO of Berkeley College, where she was the first system-wide president for all six campuses. <laughs> William Howe is the state Title IX coordinator and education consultant for multicultural education for Connecticut's Department of Education. He was named Multicultural Educator of the Year in 2006 by the National Association for Multicultural Education. Christine Kim Ang Lee is the head of curriculum for the Teaching and Learning Academic Group at the National Institute of Education at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. Robert Sherman is a preeminent New York broadcaster, writer, and teacher. For more than half a century, he has been a radio personality at WQXR, presiding in the listening room for 19 years. He can be heard on air weekly in the Young Artist Showcase and Woody's Children, which has been on the air for 46 years. And last but not least, we would like to introduce Anne Gail Spelton, who was a teacher educator for 55 years. She is a professor emeritus at the College of Education at Florida A&M University, where she taught for 45 years. Let's have one more round of applause for all of our honorees. Let's have one more round of applause for that extraordinary group. Their names are etched into the very foundation of TC, um, literally as well as virtually. Uh, at the main entrance of Zankel Hall, joining the esteemed group of past distinguished alumni. If you're attending the luncheon, you'll learn more about how each alumnus or alumna is impacting their field and will have a, the pleasure to hear from them directly. As alumni would attest, it is our faculty and their impressive body of work that attract the talented students and new faculty who join our ranks. We're especially proud to mark jubilee anniversaries of faculty as we did last year in honoring Roger Anderson. This year we plan to celebrate Bruce Vogley for 50 years of service as a preeminent mathematics educator. Unforn unforeseen circumstances prevented Bruce from being with us today and we'll plan another celebration. But I wanted to share with you some of the words in his citation to give you a sense of this amazing teacher and colleague. Quote, even as you have built a reputation as an eminent mathematics educator by focusing attention on what is missing in our education system, you have inspired generations with your abiding belief in what people can do, rather than a preoccupation with what they cannot. For your selfless dedication to mathematics education, for the numberless hours you have devoted to preparing better teachers and leaders who have touched the lives of millions, but above all, for understanding that mathematics is not only a language, but perhaps the great language of human potential, we proudly salute you on this anniversary of your 50 years of service to Teachers College. There's a session um, that I think Erica Walker will be chairing devoted to 
Bruce's latest book. And uh, what's amazing about Bruce, after 50 years, he's still writing almost a book a year, maybe even more. And um, he writes them with his graduates, with his, uh, the alumni who have been through his program. Uh, so it's a wonderful story, and we'll, you can hear about that book at a session later this morning. Bruce represents the kind of creative thinking and passion that has led TC to embark on some of the most exciting and innovative work, continuing our track record of firsts as we advance new ideas in teaching and learning that are changing the world. The depth and breadth of TC's influence and impact in New York City and around the world is astounding. As you'll learn throughout the day, TC alumni, faculty, and students are advancing work on many fronts. Our TR at TC is leading a nationwide effort to prepare teachers to improve STEM achievement through a residency approach. TC's global mental health lab is helping populations cope with the psychological and emotional fallout of crises happening around the world. TC's master's concentration in psychology and spirituality is the first of its kind. And on the technology <laughs> front, a new learning analytics master's program was launched last month to focus on analyzing big data. And a fab lab is being created to explore the intersection between art and digital tools. We're expanding professional development opportunities by creating new certificate programs, which have been encouraged by alumni in areas like sexuality, women and gender, and global competency. We continue to welcome your feedback on these activities and possibilities for new exploration. With your support, we're able to focus on the kinds of initiatives that continually renew our legacy as the place where visionaries and brilliant thinkers build new fields of inquiry and practice for future generations. So much is going on, it can be exhausting, and it makes you want to take a breath to appreciate it all, which brings us to the next part of this morning. <laughs> Goldie Hawn has taught us much about taking a breath, about mindfulness and taking a pause. We're also so pleased that Goldie is with us today to receive the President's Medal of Excellence and deliver the keynote address. Innovation requires opening up our minds and hearts to new possibilities. That kind of openness to new ideas and approaches, as Maxine spoke about, the wide awake wickedness, is at the heart of the work of Goldie Hawn and the Hawn Foundation. We look forward to hearing from her about the work of the Foundation. Understanding and enhancing children's learning has been integral to the work of Teachers College throughout its history. I want to touch on just a few of our newer initiatives in this area. A new research project is looking at biologically based measures to determine the effect of mindfulness programs on learning in young children. This project is a collaboration of our Neurocognition of Language Lab, led by Professor Karen Froud, and our National Center for Children and Families, co-directed by Professor Jeannie Brooks Gunn. Uh, Karen and a doctoral student, Trey Avery, will lead a session about a school-wide mindfulness program in the Bronx that was the basis for their research. An important new study on children and learning, co-authored by TC visiting professor Kimberly Noble, was recently reported on in Nature Neuroscience. The study, which is receiving worldwide attention, finds that family differences in income and education shape cognitive and brain development in children and adolescents. Kim joins TC as an associate professor of neuroscience and education in July. Kathy Chase, assistant professor in the Cognitive Studies program in our Department of Human Development, is investigating psychological resilience in children in the face of failure and the technological tools that can support them in rebounding by learning persistence to overcome obstacles. Then there are the robots. Sandra Okita, assistant professor of technology and education, is studying how robots help children learn. Her work is showing that kids identify with robots and virtual characters and make imaginative leaps when working with them. Robots serve as peer learners and ge generate data that teachers can analyze to see which problems are the most difficult for individual children or for an entire class. We're looking at the numbers to assess the short and long-term benefits related to social and emotional learning and work being done by our Center for Benefit Cost Studies in Education, led by Professor Henry Levin and doctoral student Rob Shan. As you can see, TC and the Hahn Foundation share an interest in the application of biological and neurological science to learning, and we look forward to advancing this work together. 
All of us who have gotten to know Goldie Hawn have been inspired by her terrific insights and how she has used her platform as a beloved actress to bring much needed attention to the very serious question of how kids grow and thrive and what we can do to make a difference, particularly for children with less social and economic advantages. Now I would like to ask Goldie Hawn to come up to accept the TC President's Medal of Excellence. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Oh, you really are something. Oh, is that it? That's it. <laughs> That's it. There are more. It's oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. It is beautiful, and it means a lot to me. And I'll tell you why. I wasn't the best student. <laughs> I wasn't the best student. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm just going to say what everybody already knows that you're an Academy Award winning actress, producer, director, and best selling author, children's advocate, and founder of the Hahn Foundation. The mission of the foundation, which Goldie established in 2003, is to equip children with the social and emotional literacy skills needed to lead smarter, healthier, and happier lives. Working with leading neuroscientists, educators, psychologists, and researchers, the foundation developed MindUp, an evidence-based curriculum and professional development program for educators serving pre-K through 12th grade. MindUp helps children self-regulate, reduce stress, sharpen concentration skills, increase empathy, build resilience, and improve academic performance. MindUp is currently being taught in seven countries across five continents mm -hmm. and has served over 400,000 students. We're so pleased to have the chance to honor you today, Goldie, for your Thank commitment you. to improving the lives of children and to creating a more compassionate world in which they learn and thrive. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. And <laughs> I'd like to toast all of you <laughs> with my water. And toast, Susan. Thank you. Thank you for being one of the most innovative leaders at teachers' colleges in the United States of America.